So this is the first. We have a McLaren Senna here at Yanomai's. And this one belongs to the young Formula One sensation, Lando Norris. Yep, this is his car. We've never had a Senna here at Yanomai's before. And I'm gonna have a good look around it. And I'm gonna tell you why it's here. I've reviewed a lot of cars over the years, and this is definitely one that sits high in the ranks with the likes of the Bugatti Chiron, LaFerrari. The McLaren definitely solidifies its place as a hypercar icon. It's no secret that I've never owned a McLaren, but today I'm going to find out some interesting features and quirks of this car, such as how to get out the car. I actually don't know how to get out the car. And I'm also gonna see if it's gonna convince me to cancel my Lamborghini Revolta order. I don't think so. So, a few stats on this car. Firstly, it's named after the great Ayrton Senna. It's also completely petrol, unlike its predecessor, the McLaren P1, which was hybrid. So this is largely based on the McLaren 720S. However, this one is on steroids. Look at that spoiler. There's only 500 of these bad boys ever made, and this price starts around 750,000 pounds. However, you're not getting one for that price right now. So Lando sent this car to me, why? Because he wanted tire writing. Now what's quite funny is me and Lando love tire writing. A lot of his friends don't, a lot of my friends don't, but you know what, we don't care. We put them on our cars. It obviously says Pirelli because it is a Pirelli tire. I think it looks cool. I think it brings the car out. I think the wheel is quite small based on the car. So I think the tire writing does make it look a bit bigger, especially on the front where it's got a massive gap underneath the arch. So here's a fun fact. How long do you think it takes to actually put tire writing onto the tires? I know it seems easy, but it actually takes quite a while. On average, between two and four hours per wheel. You've got to clean the wheel. You've got to prep the surface. You then need to put primer down. Then you need to put glue onto the back of the tire writing. Then apply it. Make sure it's straight. It's not as easy as it looks. But for me, I love tire writing. And how much better does the center look now? Obviously, tire writing for me at Yanomai is a thing. I've done it on my cars. I've done it on D-Block Europe's cars, Young Ads and LBs. I've done it on Lando's cars. I've done it on loads of people's cars. And it is a very hit and miss, love or hate. But for me, I definitely think it looks great, especially on the right car with the right color and the right design. I just like it. As you can see, it's got three massive exhaust pipes. And if you stand behind this car and he decides to rev it, I would stand back a little bit because you know it's gonna drop some massive flames. Obviously it's got the, what do you wanna call them? Do you wanna call them Lambo doors, wing doors? But before I get in, let me just reclose it. It's got soft close. How cool is that? You see that on Rolls Royces, you see that on Urus's and things like that, on real life high-end exclusive cars. This is a supercar hypercar. Weird. Anyway, let's get in. Hope I can get in. Right, so it's got bucket seats. It looks very, very tight in there. So I'm just under six foot two and I'm carrying a little bit of timber. So um, let me see if I can get in. So left leg in first. Put your left leg in, your left leg out, in, out, in, out. You shake it all about. Oh, snug. Actually, when you're in, it's actually all right. Obviously you got your iPad screen the other way. And what's real cool is look, you can see through the doors. You might remember Shmi who's got one of these and I remember someone hit the side of his car and it smashed the door and the glass. But this is, this is real special. It's actually a lot more comfortable than I thought. This is full racing driver car. I actually don't know how to close the car. Do you know what's weird is I've been in every car. I don't think I've ever sat in a Senna. I've seen them. Where'd you close the car from? Oh here, okay fine. So I found how you close it. I'll be honest, driving position is really good, very comfortable. So you go back any further? No. Nah. Reminds me of the SV, you know, with the bucket seats on the Lambo. She's got the badge there, got your start button here. How do we get out the car? How do we get out the car? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so that brings the cockpit down. I actually don't know how to get out the car. What is that? Oh, hey, there you go. <laughs> People are thinking, yeah, and Senna's have been out for forever. How do you not know how to get in and out of this car? Well, now I do. So obviously the button is up here. Oh, it's like a, like a pull down switch to open and close it. I'd love to drive this car. Should I ring Lando and say, Lando, let me take it out? Do you know what, it's pouring down with rain. I don't think I can do that. I don't know about driving this around normally though. I think driving this around town, I think would have been the best, especially in the UK. You gotta remember he lives in Monaco. So for him, 
This is, this is great to drive around Monaco. And he's got loads of cars. Lando is a car guy. Yes, obviously he's a Formula One driver, but he loves his cars. And he's got a list, a fleet of cars. And quite a few of them are coming here to have different bits done. I have done a car for him in the past where he PPF'd it. Um, I'm not gonna say what it is, but it was real special, special color. Um, and it had his own little touches to it. But obviously he does drive for McLaren, so I'm sure he can get any McLaren he wants. But he obviously drives the ultimate, the ultimate McLaren, the Formula One car. So for this, these are probably like toys for him. So I've got the key and it's only right we do a cold start. So the start button is up here. So foot on the brake. Look at that, track telemetry. This is a full-on track car for the road, not for the UK roads, or not around here, definitely not around London. I've got a newfound respect for Shmi to be able to drive his car around like he does. Would I get one of these? That's the question. This or a Revuelto? Obviously, this is more money, but I do like Lambo. Imagine being a Formula One driver and driving a car named after a Formula One driver. Wow, mind-blowing. It's been a while since I've sat in like a supercar or hypercar, especially sitting really, really low. My Revuelto is a few weeks away and I'm really excited for that. I haven't been on Car Wow and haven't done any racing in a long time due to my back surgery, but this gave me an incredible feeling and I'm so excited for my car to arrive and of course, the Yanomai's Grand Tour from London to Marbella. How good does that look? I do like a gloss black car. I might strip my Urus to make it gloss black for a bit. This is special. If you had a, if you had a Senna, what color would you have it in? Would you have it in black? Or would you wrap it in another color? Would you have tire writing? Would you have a Senna? Is that the ultimate track car? You know what, I just feel privileged that Lando sent us his car for a second time now, and he said there's plenty more cars to come. So there it is, the first McLaren Senna at Yanomai's that belongs to Lando Norris. I've never been up close and personal, sat in one, played around with it, cold start, opened and closed the doors. I've learned a few things today about this car, but it is very, very special. The question is, would I buy one? Senna, Revuelto. You decide, let me know in the comment section. Anyway, I'm out and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys, see you later.